<laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Uh, this is a stage that a lot of people like to ban against Rob. But I know it is also triplats in general pretty good for Wolf. Yep. Uh, let's see if it comes back to to bite Nintendo. It, it might, because this is a stage that Jill is uh, familiar with as well. She definitely knows her matchups uh, on stages as, as, as on stages. So. You know, this is something that you have to uh, just be careful with against it in general because you have these uh, Rao falling airs into down tilt into, let's see, gyro setups that she's been going crazy with recently. I want to see more of the, the ledge. I guess, <laughs> against Wolf especially. Yeah, I will say that Wolf is one of those characters that I feel like he's... He can just down smash the ledge. It doesn't have to worry about all of Dill's like you know upbeat shenanigans. Yeah. Then again, I, does down smash lose to uh, like a well timed up air? Oh, I'll tell you, you what. Know what? It <laughs> arm rotor off the stage. I can't believe arm rotor just. I I feel like Wolf side B at least clashes with a lot of moves, but no, he just got scooped up from seven oh my miles God. away. And arm rotor is just a. It's just a Big hit, like a big move anyway, and when you're trying to recover, you're pretty much trapped in that one linear area, and Dill just had it all covered just like that. It's what the last hit? Are you oh, kidding me? What the heck? All right, all right yeah. Yeah. See, now we're challenging Dill's high recoveries. Yeah, and I will say, one thing that uh, Wolf has is damage output. Look at this, three three hits and already Dill is pretty much at the same uh, damage threat. Oh, very smart, Whoa. very smart on her behalf. She was, she was about to go down, notice that uh, Nintendo actually went on the top flat and just did, started up uh, up air to combat it. Yeah, you're gonna try and use... Oh! Oh. As Wolf, really oh. dangerous. Yeah, as Wolf overextending off stage is that's against still specifically. Oh man, she's been trapped in the corner for so no, long. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone. That gyro, she she had actually gotten just like the regular gyro uh, Z drop on the first part, and then of course after you get on this off this ledge without coming back on the stage physically, you don't have that that privilege of the invincibility yeah, anymore. So to briefly explain also how ledge invincibility is calculated, yep. it is based on your percentage. So the higher your percent, the less invincibility you get, and also inversely how much time you spent off stage. Also, end of the game. Bye. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> So basically, if you haven't spent, the more time you spend on stage, the yep. more invincibility you have. So in that situation where Ninjendo uh, had to re-grab ledge really quickly and was at a high percent, he lost invincibility in like an instant. Um, yeah. Uh, it was right uh, here. Yeah. Got that tech that time. But then here, yeah, spent yeah, almost no time off stage. It bounced, and then did he jump actually? Hold on a second. Can we yeah, get he, a... he, I think he lost his jump from the first. I no, he should have his jump when he grabbed the ledge. Here. I think we so down. this one is when Dill threw it down. So, uh, which beautiful tech by the way. Oh, uh, here's a jump. Well, no, no, because no, he grabbed ledge. I just want to see uh, if we see oh, the I jump know. come out. Two, did we? One, go. Whatever. No, I think it was his attack. I didn't see yeah. the, little, like, the little spring of, uh, oh, we're going Yoshi's? All right, anyway. <laughs> oh, hmm, interesting. I mean, one thing, I wonder. it's like this is also triplats, but with a shorter ceiling on top. It is worth noting that Nintendo got a kill up there last game, but Rob as a character is just notorious for being able to take stock so early off, just off the ceiling. I think what he's trying to exploit right here, or at least with the triplats and using the top platform, is of course Dill's high recovery. She will stall on the very top of the platform because most characters can't reach her up there. And also, she'll give it time to think. Also, the wall jump. We already saw yes. it come out. Having that available is actually massive for Nintendo as it can mix up his recovery in a way that he just wasn't able to do in that previous game. And as a result, Nintendo in the lead right now. Uh, granted, uh, it, I mean, Wolf has a lot of kill power, but he needs to find it before he winds up off stage and yeah, before, soon thereafter before, dead. Before Rob takes it, before uh, before Wolf does, you know? Yeah, just a gray stall on the ledge before she recovers onto back onto the stage. And Wolf can do anything about it. He has to kind of just hold that. Because yeah. every Wolf will try to two-frame with down tilt. Okay. Oh, the forward air was one of the only moves that Rob has that wouldn't lead to a kill. But 168% and Nintendo still trapped at the ledge. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that long lasting control just covers so many options and it's so safe. Nintendo got caught by it and that's going to be him dropping that stock. He now has to find some way of taking Dill's life right here without... Ooh. Oh my lord. He's fine. Yeah, I had his jump. I got scared. I always get very worried for, for any of the spacing when they're off that deep. But for me, he's a jump. He's good. He's fine. Also, yeah. 
wall grab. Yep, and I... Was that some questionable DI? I'm not sure whether uh, that could have been better on Dill's part, but regardless, that's going to be the evened up stock count. I'm loving these recoveries from Nintendo so much more this game. Being a lot cheekier with having that access that wall jump, even as we saw air dodges. And, oh my boy. Oh, that was nice. I love that, that whole. Oh, great. Okay, no. Very good new, doing the neutral get to kind of in, in, kind of uh, interrupt arm rotors, rec arm rotors, hitboxes right there. Oh. I missed that because I was explaining what was happening with arm rotor. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely wanted that diagonal angle towards the ledge, but just oh, he just miss, missed missed yeah, it. Just went straight down. Just went left. straight down. And whenever I see that happen, I always maybe it might be the controller itself. You know, it, you're going one way, and the controller's like, actually, we're gonna go down. <laughs> we're actually gonna go this way. Yeah. It's either human or mechanical <laughs> error, not the way that you want really to be losing sucks. a stock. And I think that's shaken up Nintendo quite a bit. It was a guy had really even game in the, the whole time, honestly. Yeah, and all of a sudden that even game is just not the case anymore. So going for these hungry forward smashes that wouldn't even kill right now, kind of a sign that, you know, the, the, the game plan is crumbling. And that's probably going to do it. Uh, even though, you know, he has this jump he's off stage in that terrible situation, makes it back actually against my own uh, premonition. Oh, yeah, upper's not going to kill at that low, but that will. That one certainly will. Yeah, no, that, that second stock, really unfortunate for Nintendo. He had a really great, uh, like, toe to toe game with Dill, like, the entire time during that second game. But that unfortunate SD was just not, or that fortunate miss, uh, Misplacement of the uppy was just oh sh oh I yeah. just oh that was yeah I, I mean, just watched it yeah wow granted Nintendo was at pretty high percent but like keep in mind first stock he didn't die until what 150 160 mm -hmm. there would have been so much potential even here he's at 150 didn't yeah. die that one up like, there he was just doing a fantastic job surviving and the fact that he lost one of those stocks to just what might have been human or mechanical error yeah. is it, you could also see it just deflated him on top of now having that buffer lost. Now you're like, like, you're just like, all right, I'm done. Like, pull down your eyes. <laughs> um, that's, that's so, yeah. the physical expression.